An international cricketer has been fined almost £5,000 for asking a female journalist out for a drink, live on television. West Indies batsman Chris Gale propositioned Australian Channel 10 reporter Mel McLaughlin while she was interviewing him. Incredibly aggressive approach for you two. It looks like you're absolutely just smashing this innings. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, I want to come and have an interview with you as well. That's the reason why I'm here. So just to see your eyes for the first time. It's nice. So hopefully we win this game and we can have a drink after. Don't blush, baby. I'm not, I'm not blushing. <laughs> Gail has apologised for the incident, insisting his comments were just a simple joke. There wasn't anything meant to be disrespectful or offended to Mel. And if she felt that way, you know, then I'm really sorry for that. Um, there wasn't any harm, you know, meant in that particular way, you know, to harm any particular person in any particular way like that. And it was a simple joke. Um, the game was going on. Um, entertainment, you know, things get out of proportion, you know, but these things do happen. So it wasn't any harm done and like I said, I'll leave it at that and, you know, I'm sorry for that. But Australian cricket officials didn't see it as a joke. They responded firmly to Gail's comments, claiming they bordered on harassment. Anyone that doesn't, um, that, that sees, sees the humour in that is, is, um, is again misunderstanding and somewhat delusional about the situation. I think they're forgetting as well that it's you know, it's a workplace situation. Um, it's inappropriate and it's very, very public. And um, that just goes to uh, the point about, about he, how inappropriate and um, just not cool um, that that is. Well, with us to discuss this is the former editor at large of the men's magazine FHM, Piers Hernu, and we're also joined by the comedian and feminist Kate Smurthwaite. Good evening to you both. Um, was it right for him to be given a fine, Piers Hernu? No, was I don't harassment? think it was right for him to be given a fine. It was clumsy, cheesy, um, flirtatious, and, and you know perhaps not something that I would have done. But it was uh, pretty harmless stuff, and. Um, uh, there's been an enormous outpouring of outrage and anger as a result of, of this and people pointing the finger at poor Chris Gale, who's, you know, probably not the brightest bloke in the world. And, you know, I, I think we've seen that from some of his previous behaviour. But, you know, um, the, the, the response has been totally disproportionate to what I don't see as a crime at all. You know, he was just making a silly joke and she responded in a way where she was angry and disappointed and, you know, and all this sort of nonsense and didn't, didn't deal with the situation at all well. And my advice to her would be to, to woman up. You know, it's a, it's a big bad world out there and people are going to be a bit silly. So don't get offended so easily. Kate, do you think that's right, that she should just have womaned up and taken it? I don't quite see why women should ex be expected to be a bit tough at work than men are because of course we might have to put up with sexism that's not the solution to sexism at work the solution is to get rid of sexism from the workplace and it, it is a workplace tech? no of course not it's a workplace and it's actually what's really the issue is it's a workplace where there is a power dynamic going on so here's a very important celebrity who she's been asked to interview you know when well, she's a celebrity herself but she's not as important as he is in this context he's somebody who they're very lucky to have got on yeah. she's very much saying that do you know what I mean and it's exactly that thing if you have somebody in the studio who's very important and very famous you're very much trying not to upset them so there's a power situation if he'd waited till the interview is over and then quietly asked <laughs> if she wanted well fair enough but on top of that I the mean, way supposing, he supposing out, she'd been interviewing President Obama and he said you got nice eyes would that have been acceptable well I'm not sure that I'm not sure that we achieve a great deal by sitting here and going what if he said very nice well, eyes no, but you or said this, a very famous I'm celebrity like, I'm just, I'm just but I, of course I mean, it wouldn't be appropriate no of course it appropriate. wouldn't be appropriate for somebody who's in a position of power to ask somebody out especially in that workplace context where she's obviously yeah. been told keep this guy I mean, you know, it wasn't exactly guy. a context where they were going to exchange uh, telephone numbers, was it? So the, it was a joke well, in that sense. Maybe well, it was a well, joke. Well, okay, so it you was know, clearly let, a joke. Okay, so let so let me answer that question. I mean, I've 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 been a professional comedian for over a decade. I've written for Have I Got News for You? I've yeah, won I know, awards in Edinburgh. I don't want to don't want to read my whole CV out. <laughs> yeah. um, but speaking as a professional comedian, I don't see anything funny about it. What I mean, it might well, be funny. It might be funny yeah. if he'd if she'd said, um, you know, you're a terrible player. You've 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 ruined the game. You've spoilt it for everyone, and then he'd said, "So, not, do you want a not, date?" Now, there's a joke, but this—not all thing jokes that's funny are funny. About, 
Well, we some, know some have failed jokes. As, as a comedian, you would know that not all your jokes would be funny either. Not so, to you, but anyway, no. Chris made a joke that wasn't funny. Yeah. She should have just said, "Oh, behave yourself, Chris," and moved on. What but, is but the difference between a joke that she isn't seems funny to have no, no, no and sort of, harassment? Well, no, uh, no, well, skin. Right, other, no, but the other thing he was definitely doing was, from his point of view, he was flirting. He was now, flirting. Now, is it is it acceptable to flirt? It has to be acceptable uh, to, to flirt in the workplace. Otherwise, this whole world dries up and we become as lifeless as the moon within a generation because no one will ever have sex. But you're still missing this power dynamic. If you sit in a call centre next to somebody who catches your eye and you flirt a little bit yeah. and they flirt back, fair enough. But in a power situation, when well, you're well, teaching somebody and you're there's a power situation <laughs> going on there and then it's not appropriate. All right, Susanna Reid and David Beckham, is it fair for them to flirt? <laughs> Uh, yeah. I'm not sure I entirely uh, know the context of the. Of, I'm not, well, I've not no, seen the breakfast television together. interview. Okay, I haven't seen it, so I can't tell you no, what's but, going on there. No, but, but you're um, saying. You're, I mean, let me get this clear. You're saying it's okay to flirt. But only if you're equals, right? I'm saying that it's uncomfortable to flirt with somebody who is obviously not your power equal. It creates an awkward, exactly what How it created. Do you find we, your we power saw equal this. in a nightclub. But we exactly the, saw this. the point that he wasn't treating her as a professional? He was seeing her as a woman, not as a sports journalist. Well, exactly. if you want to talk about this, if you want to talk about sexism, um, you're looking in the wrong place here. Chris Gale is, is a misguided, uh, ill-educated cricketer. Sexism. In, 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 in this world is where pretty much every single sports TV channel employs the youngest, sexiest, most shapely but female presenters because they know that men, uh, mostly men, watch sports. Let me exactly, finish, let me finish. Don't that's touch no way me, please. Well, no, um, no, no, um, right, uh, uh, now I'm now guilty of some <laughs> sexual assault in the workplace. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Let me yes. finish. I've got, a, I've got a point to make. And, and so, you know, Sky Sports, it, Sky sports is, 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 is probably one of the, right. the most guilty of, of, of doing exactly this. So if you want to talk about women sexism... Have to prove themselves all the more because of that, because no, of that if you want to be a Sky, to try even if you want to be a Sky Sports to be, presenter, yeah. you have to be extremely good journalist, I admit that, but you have to be easy on the eye. And you but, can't deny that. But just because we're saying there's sexism in another place, and I don't disagree with yeah, you that in sports presenting there is, that doesn't mean the, that this isn't sexism. The executives, oh, look, there's some over there. The executives so of the channel are up in arms Hold on, I let you sanctimonious finish, appropriate. I let you finish. I let you finish. Well, you asked um, me a question. Um, I didn't ask the you. The point is this, is that when women are given these jobs of responsibility, she's there, she should be giving her views and doing an interview, and instead of which, it all suddenly spins back to her attractiveness and to her sex appeal. And that's the problem, is when women are put in these positions of power, then instead of being taken seriously... Yeah, but seriously, it's the TV companies that put them back. in this position of but, power I mean, and then know, complain, about the, the, complain about what happens. I mean, I'd, I'd rather be, you know, told that I had nice eyes than that I'm a fat Murdoch tosser, as people, <laughs> as people tell me every night on Twitter, you know. So so you get abuse both ways. It's not necessarily always. Yeah, sexual, well, of course, is it? of course, people get abuse in all directions. But when abuse towards women um, is sexual, there's an obvious problem with that. In the same way that abuse towards people who aren't white, when it specifically references that, is called racism and abuse towards women. And that's different. Based. That's different than just ordinary well, every, everyday I mean, no, I mean, trolling, abuse, Twitter abuse. No, yeah. I mean, abuse is not okay. But people expressing their opinions that you might disagree with is fair enough. But when that opinion becomes about your gender, your ethnicity, your sexuality, then that's a specific kind of abuse because that's not if people want to criticize your opinions or your job well that might be their view it might be a bit unsavory but okay. there you go <laughs> when it's about other unchangeable characteristics then it's an issue isn't it Kate Piers we're gonna have to leave it mm. there thank you very much thank indeed you. heated thank you. debate